everybody. The time is, well, approximately 6.40 a.m. The date is March 22nd, 2023. And welcome to our New York vlogs, which is a very surreal sentence. I can't really believe this is happening, but we're literally off to New York in, well, the journey begins in a matter of minutes. Adam's around here somewhere. <laughs> lurking in the background he's doing the final touches to the packing and i thought i would come on and say hello and and start these vlogs i don't know how many of them there's gonna be i don't know what we're gonna film i don't know what's gonna happen really but it's gonna be a bit of an adventure and we're very excited be lots of pizza and tacos i think would be the only thing I think that it's we probably filmed, a safe prediction to bet that we're about to eat our way around new york city we might see a few sites along the way but it will mostly be tacos and pizza. Are you excited? No. <laughs> so a little bit of context for this trip. This was a surprise trip until a week ago for some people because some people are turning 30. Some people. And I've been keeping it a secret since January. I can't believe it's finally here. <laughs> Just about keeping it a secret. Yeah, I said this morning, I was like, do you wish that you had no idea where you were going? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm enough of like a frazzled faffer of a travel morning person. I think throwing a big secret into the mix probably would have been a recipe for disaster. But so far so good today. I think we're packed. The cat's not very impressed, but what's new? I think we're good to go. We're good to go. We're gonna order a cab. Oh, let me check these last little bits. So have you got the iPad? Yes. You got the iPad charger? Yep. And we've got a watch charger? Yep. I think that's all I have to quiz you on. And we've got phone chargers. Yep. Did you pick up that other phone charger? Yep. Okay, I'm going to buy hand King sanitizer. The chargers. Yeah, if there's one thing that Adam's going to take charge of on a trip, it's an array of chargers for various technology. I'll deal with the rest, as long as you deal with the chargers and the double check the passports. That's all I need. <laughs> Mine's in my shoulder bag. Okay, we've done all the bits and bobs we needed to. The last job on the list was to give the plants a water. Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> I fear for their futures if we don't. And now we can order an Uber and we're going to hop on over to Heathrow and we're going to Terminal 5. I don't know if we've ever been to Terminal 5. I don't think I've been to Terminal 5. So this could be an exciting beginning for everybody. I feel like we're very in control. Last time we did this introduction to a trip, the foxes had like got into all the bins, do you remember? Uh, yeah. And it was like the worst start to a travel day. But I mean, touch wood. So no. far, so good. <laughs> no foxes. No wild foxes to compete with. One nil New York. <laughs> Should we do a quick little airport outfit check? Ta -da, ta -da, oh ta -da. yeah. Ready? New trainers. Ready. Five minutes till the taxi. So now I can cuddle the cat until we go. Twelve, that's so light. Is that what I said? I think you said fourteen. Oh. Well that was all very easy and smooth. <laughs> Couldn't have gone much easier. Um, I don't know why I've got you out really, because I'm going to have to put you away now for security. Be right back. Right, where are we? 9.45, New York. Gate shown at 8.30, what time is it now? Oh, 8.16. God, time really like eats away when you're doing this, doesn't it? It's crazy. Adam got stopped at security. Happens every time. I'm surprised I pay for wearing a lovely chain. <laughs> I don't think it is the chain. I don't know what it is. I think they just think okay. you look highly How suspicious. Um, we're going to go for a little wander now, see what we can find. We have no idea what our options are around here. We've spotted Starbucks, which could be a good option for a drink, but not so much the food. There's a giant pret downstairs, which might be our best bet at this point. You're on the hunt for a Leon. Leon or bust. I want a little sausage and egg sandwich. I know you do. Right, let's go see what we can find. Adam's found his on-flight snack. <laughs> just, a, just a little bite. Crunchies. Wheat crunchies, they're the most 90s crisps. I'm quite tempted by the wheat crunchies, honestly, for the nostalgia purposes. Don't forget your commemorative Cambridges tin. Time for an old faithful, an old trusty, never lets you down, good old. Pret a manger. I think we're gonna grab a bite to eat right now, and then we'll also get a sandwich to take on the plane as well, just in case the food is not too cute. Breakfast secured. Little croissant from Pret. This is basically like eating pizza for breakfast. They're so delicious. 
got a little coffee here. This is for Adam. I'm a little bit jittery and nervous already this morning, so I think one coffee between two is probably a good idea. Uh, so we're gonna have these now. Adam's got one too. And then we've actually got our gate. Just at the bottom there, New York, B35. It's a shame it's not B30, because then it would be like, why don't you be 30? Oh, that's very zoomed in on your face. This is probably extremely unhelpful, but if you follow the signs for the toilets, you'll find some drinking fountains to fill up your water bottle after you've emptied it for security. I think we might be in the right place. That looks like a plane to me. We've made it through the stressful part. Everybody can calm down now. Everybody that was slightly tightly wound. Yeah, not me. Time to decompress. It wasn't, wasn't me, it was slightly tightly well. It's probably you watching this video who's Lucy's referring to saying they're tightly well. I bet you I are was, after watching that. I was calm and cool and not stressed at all. You didn't, you were fine. It was a very stressful airport like environment though, that bit. Just a busy prep and the, the kiosk was so close that you were just, I was just like. Yeah, it was very like, a bit claustrophobic in there. About 45 minutes till we depart. So. We might be, uh, might actually be boarding quite soon, I think. Excited, yeah. Or have we got to get there excited. first? No, I'm excited. I quite like a flight. Once I've taken off. You like a flight more than I do. Settle in, play some games, read a magazine. Watch I've a got movie. Uh, a grand total of three books to get through this flight. <laughs> might have been slightly ambitious. Adam's got Nintendo Switch. What else? iPad, a magazine, <laughs> football, soccer magazine. That makes it sound like those ones that you get when you're a kid. What? Shoot. <laughs> Match. Super busy. I don't think there's a single seat to spare. But we're comfy. We're good. We're ready to fly. We made it through security and it took so long that the conveyor belt has stopped moving. I think that's mine, actually. Right there. It is. Success. We have just arrived. We've just checked in. We've got our room key. I'm looking slightly disheveled, but I'm gonna do a quick little room tour for you before this room turns to a shambles and we officially oh. move in and unpack everything. It is a beautiful little room and this view you are not ready for this view. I'll explain properly in a minute, but let me give you a little look at where we're staying. I'll start at the front door here. Here we go. Lovely door. Turn in. And here's the room. So we've got some nice little pegs here to hang all our bits and pieces on a lovely brass frame. We've got a nice big mirror. Here we are. Pop my collar. Fresh first fit check. Da 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 da. Cool. So that's lovely. Oh, I love the light. I'm gonna be like noticing all the details as I go around here. We've got these nice bedside tables. Look at the phone. That oh, is so it. cool. I move my giant suitcase out of the way. I can show you a little bit better. Here's the bedside phone. Oh, this little notepad is so cute. This is definitely one of those hotel rooms where I literally just want to restyle our house in the, <laughs> in the form of this hotel on our return. Look at this bed. <laughs> this looks like an absolute dream. Honestly, I'm ready to dive into that immediately, but we'll try and put that off for at least a couple of hours. Uh, we'll spin you around here. We've got a nice big telly on a nice little shelf here and some books. This is the cute little corner over here. So we've got this nice Marshall radio, some eucalyptus, obviously. We've got this lovely artwork. And then do you want to show off this little writing desk? Well, it looks like a writing desk, Probably but it's right. actually a hidden coffee station. <laughs> Very pleased with that one. Look how nice these mugs are. We're already eyeing up these mugs. <laughs> Shh, don't admit that on film. Look at that with the address of the hotel on them. You got this. That'll be nice first thing. And then, would you like to do the honours? Oh wait, let me just show this little bit over here first. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry to uh, tease the moment there. We've got a nice little bedside setup here. Some hangers to hang our nice bits. Is this a little fridge down here? I don't know actually. That's fine out. Yeah, it looks like a it. little fridge set up. And then look what they left for Adam. A little illustrated card. Happy birthday. And some popcorn and some beers to say mm. happy birthday. It comes with a view. So are you ready for this? <laughs> Let me spin you around. Okay, the grand reveal in three, two, one. Da 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 da! <laughs> oh.
<laughs> this is, uh, so good. we're really having like main character moments right now. This is absolutely amazing. It feels like we're in a film. That is just unbelievable to look out the window and see that. But here we are in Williamsburg. It's our home for the next five days. And it's gonna be a bit of a treat waking up to that every morning, that's for sure. Stunning. But a struggling writer in a New York rom-com. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, God, my I can barely make ends meet. <laughs> I live in this terrible apartment. Oh, and this just happens to be my view. I'm gonna decompress slightly. It's been a very long day. Traveled a very long way. So let's chill out for a bit, get ourselves back together, and then we'll catch up with you when we're looking slightly more refreshed. Taco in three hours. <laughs> the taco countdown begins. <laughs> Although, totally forgot, I haven't shown you the bathroom yet, and that's just over here. Let me show you that first. The bathroom's just through here. Yeah, this is first reaction. <gasps> oh, wow, that is so nice. Oh, wow. There you go. That is a shower and a half. Oh, that looks so great. Nice toiletries in here. I've got a rain shower. Look at this lovely sink. Wow, this is a bit of a dream, isn't it, really? And then the loo, just over here. Both had a shower, feeling better, mm -hmm. feeling fresh, change of outfit, a slight like reset, just like doing absolutely nothing, sitting in front of the telly, coincidentally watching an episode of Friends, which has got to be the perfect viewing when you first arrive in New York. Yeah. Actually, I should probably back up a little bit and explain where we're staying. So we're staying in Williamsburg, which is in Brooklyn. Um, for anyone whose New York geography knowledge is as absolutely terrible as mine was before I started booking this trip, famous part of New York is Manhattan, I guess. That's kind of like the very central part where all the touristy stuff is. And then across the water, um, is Brooklyn and then Williamsburg is a little area within that. Sorry if any of this is wrong I'm trying my best. <laughs> it's a little bit more chill a little bit less kind of typically touristy a little bit more like Living like a local type vibes where there's lots of nice breweries and bars and little eateries That's kind of how we wanted to do this trip rather than doing like wham bam touristy. Thank you, ma'am We're gonna like take it easy chill explore do a little bit more of the locals type stuff um, and hopefully find some like little hidden gems. And obviously the extra bonus of that means that if you're staying away from the hubbub and the craziness of it all, you get that view rather than being in the view. And we are staying at the Hoxton in Williamsburg, which is a little bit of a dream stay. Obviously this is a really special trip for us. This is for Adam's 30th. It's a really big one for us. So if you've got any kind of special anniversary or whatever, this would be a really nice hotel to choose. I am really, really hungry already. We didn't really eat on the plane. The food wasn't really something that we were after. Um, so we are looking forward to a really good bite to eat. So are you ready to go and have a little explore? <laughs> and if all else fails, Got my disco. Okay, let's go and explore New York. I'm ready. What a sentence. So this is our casual walk to go and find a beer. This glitch, that building there isn't real. Look, that one on top. What? It's like Tetris. Oh yeah, rock. that's cool. We were just saying how completely surreal of you this is. It just, cause you're so used to seeing it in movies and on the telly. It just feels like, doesn't feel like it's really registering as being in front of us. <laughs> It's a very surreal feeling. It's also a bit like, it's a bit misty. Yeah, it's kind of like desaturated yeah. a little bit, isn't it? We made it. The Big Apple. <laughs> Actually, New York is now, so it works. Once you're in. We live here now. Once you're in, you're in. <laughs> I would also just like to add that one underrated great point of staying in a more chill, less central part of New York is the dogs. There are so many great dogs. We've got a uh, different accent as well, haven't they? <laughs> hey, I'm pooping here. <laughs> what you whooping at? I'm English and charming, leave me alone. home for the next five days. Oh, what a night! <laughs> and it's so late, girl. <laughs> Just been clubbing. It's definitely not 10 to 8 p.m. <laughs> no, but put that in UK time. 
We're just doing, still doing that later. We got up at five o'clock in the oh, morning. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. But very worth it. Was, I've had such a nice evening. I was breaking, but pulled together by tacos. <laughs> yes, literally. I think we just lived out Adam's dream evening, just basically. So we popped to Other Half Brewery for a little drink, which was so nice. And then we went to grab some tacos at a little place called Tacomi. Tecombi, which was absolutely delicious. Wonderful. So like simple but authentic but fresh. All the flavours. <coughs> Welcome to New York. If they're waiting for you. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. And one last thing. Look at that. Da, 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 da. Oh, I've just got your reflection. I'll do this another time. <laughs> Day two of our trip to New York. We have had such a nice chilled morning actually because of the kind of time difference and stuff. You were awake a little bit later than me, but I woke up probably about 10 past five. We opened the curtains at about six and the skyline was obviously like pitch black and all lit up. And we just kind of watched Manhattan like wake up as the sun rose. It was pretty amazing actually it felt quite surreal to be watching it today is an exciting one well it should be an exciting one anyway we're going on a little bit of an adventure to see what we can find there he is finished his tash combing duties <laughs> priorities to tell everyone that's what i was up to <laughs> we're going to two a little place hands. around the corner called two hands which some of you guys recommended on my instagram um looks like it should be really nice we actually wandered past it yesterday and it looks really lovely we're gonna jump on the subway i think we've decided we're gonna get the subway for the first time your guess is as good as ours, what that involves, but we'll soon find out. And where will we end up? Yeah, good question. <laughs> New uh, Jersey. <laughs> hey, the Jersey Shore is calling. But the weather is a little bit of a mixed bag, so we're going to do the High Line and then see where we're at. You've got a few of the bits, but yeah. maybe, maybe we'll just save, keep them under our hats. Yeah, so shall we? Can, we? So we can continue watching and see it's what you've a, been up to. It's a very different ball game vlogging in this cool part of town compared to vlogging in the Magic Kingdom. I feel slightly more sheepish and, <laughs> and self-aware. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing as much as I can um, without, you know, wanting the earth to swallow me up. Here's how we're looking this morning. Some nice blue skies. It literally looks like a photo. I cannot believe that is in front of us right now. So exciting. Outfits of the day. Outfits of the New York day. O-O-T-N-Y-D. Yeah, it's rose of the time. It's an oot nid. It's a little floral jumpsuit. We're going to the summit later, which specifically says, don't wear dresses because you'll literally flash your bum to New York. So I've gone for a jumpsuit, a denim jacket, and then my trusty Uniqlo bag. Here's a little yeah. look downstairs in our hotel. This is a lovely little cafe area, which seems to be a hot spot for freelance working. Got a lovely little coffee shop here, which is super cute. Oh, they look delicious actually. And then there's a restaurant through here, which is so pretty. But let's head out. So here's what we've gone for to kickstart the day. I've gone for some classic avocado toast, got a little poached egg on there, got a little pickled, what were they called? Pickled shallots, aka pink pickled onions, my fave. Some pickled chili, a little poached egg, and then Adam's gone for a classic breakfast burrito. What's that? Yeah, little salsa. Oh, yummy. Great coffee too. Everywhere seems to have these really nice postcards that they give you with your receipt at the end. So I'm gonna try and collect as many of them as I can and we can put them on the fridge when we get home. <laughs> It'll be really cute. So bright, I forgot my sunnies, which is an absolute classic. I got mine. Terrible maneuver. So that was two hands, just on the corner there. Huge recommend from us. Absolutely loved it. Oh, Food so was nice. so delicious. Best start to the day. We're off to try and find the subway. Great, Adam Adam thinks service. he's got it memorized. Great really good service. Well. Lovely waitress. So Adam thinks he's got the subway spot memorized. I know. I know. Trying to remember it in the American way. Uh, How do you describe it? Well, with no, I don't know what it is in the very quick, but it's Bedford Avenue, so we're going up, up Grand, <laughs> and then we're going to take a left on Bedford Avenue. Good accent as well. <laughs> we made it to Chelsea, we survived our first subway journey. 
which is actually very smooth. It was quite busy to begin with. I think a lot of people were still, it's kind of still commuter hour to be honest. So it was a little bit rammo to begin with, but then cleared out as soon as we hit the busy parts. Yeah, and there was a woman on the phone the whole time. And yeah. we were underwater. Amazing signal. You can literally conduct a business meeting on the subway, so that's pretty yeah. impressive. One of the running commentaries of this trip so far is Adam <laughs> letting me know all the things you can do on the Spider-Man game <laughs> in the things in front of us in real time right now. I just recognise the places and <laughs> swing my way around the city. Very much a New York expert because of the Spider-Man game. Yeah, get us, I get, well, I can get us made to be as long as by the tops of buildings As long as webs. you can fling out some webs, we'll be absolutely fine. I don't know how fine. to get there by the tube. We're aiming for the High Line to have a little wander to begin with, but Adam's found this uh, nice little park slash island. So we're going to explore this strange little space on the Hudson to begin with. I'm not really sure what this is. It's called Little Island. Little Island. And it's just got this. And, and it is indeed a little island. <laughs> what song was that? It was my theme tune. Oh. So if you don't know what this is, it's I think it's considered a park actually, but it's kind of like a big long walk that stretches right along the way here. So we're gonna head up. We're pretty much starting at the beginning. So we're gonna head all the way up here. It was it was an old train track. Oh that's cool. Very much so. <laughs> you can see the old train tracks running along here. And then there's various like art installations along the way. So here's one that we're reading all about right now. Across the train tracks. We had a very lovely walk along the High Line. We started to feel, I felt like three drops of rain at yeah, different, it was coming. different uh, increments of time. So we're starting to suspect that it might start to chuck it down at some point. But that took quicker than we thought it was going to be. So we're going to wander into into the busy bit, I think. I'm hoping you'll be able to hear me. <laughs> it's so can. noisy. Guess where we are? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Good. Times Square, baby! The craziest place on the planet. How they've turned a big advert into a tourist attraction is beyond me. <laughs> it's pretty impressive, really. Worst thing in the world, advert <laughs> being made into a cool Surrounded to to. by them, there's no escape. It's cool though. Woo! <laughs> I think this is the shiniest place that exists. Everything is super shiny wherever you look. I can't work out whether this is good or bad for your brain. It's very stimulating. <laughs> it's like a fun house but in like outside form. Oh, that, cool. that one's like 3D. Oh yeah. Oh the cat. Wow. Well we made it and now we can leave. <laughs> when we were walking here it was just getting gradually crazier and crazier as we approached and we were like look let's just go <laughs> spend 30 seconds <laughs> and then we can take it off the list and it's done. See if you can guess by the tickets where we've ended up. We've come to MoMA. We're at the Museum of Modern Art. We're gonna go and get some culture. So we're gonna go and see some cool, famous modern art. And there's also a special exhibition here at the moment of Guillermo del Toro's new Pinocchio movie. So we're really looking forward to that as well. Oscar winning. Oscar winning, no less. What if I do this for a good cut and you can go... <laughs> and then cut into something else. Okay, I'll do that. doing less intelligent things. <laughs> Speaking of which, we're off to find some pizza. It's been a while since we last ate and we've been in New York for 24 hours and haven't had a single slice of pizza yet so that seems like something we need to rectify immediately. We are going on the hunt for Joe's Pizza which is meant to be the best slice in the city um, and I think we're heading this way. Oh, towards Radio City, that's cool. Coming to you live from Radio City Music Hall 
it's Adam and Lucy. Not sure what our show would be. Certainly not impression. No. <laughs> Just a few flags. These are crazy, aren't they? They're so like uniform. They look like big Lego pieces. Look at this. Never seen anything so beautiful. We might have got slightly carried away and gone for two each, but we are absolutely ravenous right now. We've done like 20,000 steps and it's not even 3 p.m. We've gone for a classic and a pepperoni. Classics only around here. But you don't go for it, you go classic. Yeah. It is crazy busy in here. We were so lucky to just grab a seat then right at the right time. Wow, look at that. That's literally bigger than my head. Cheers. <laughs> Over and over. <laughs> well, we had to go back on ourselves a bit because the rain was so heavy at one point, wasn't it? Just absolutely chucking it down at one point, hence why we bumped our MoMA visit up slightly. Highly recommend MoMA, by the way. We had a lovely time. What was your favourite thing that we saw? <laughs> My favourite was the Matisse cutouts. I don't think I've ever seen any Matisse in real life. Well, it's, cool. it's amazing that you just like turn the corner and see these works of art that you've grown up knowing are so iconic and then they're just in front of you i feel like every aspect of new york is just a very surreal experience it's full of things that you've seen on the telly <laughs> your whole life and then suddenly they're in front of you these are like a really beautiful arrangement of architecture this bit oh look you can see the chrysler building just poking through there as well i feel like these just all look very quintessential all together anyway is this where we're heading uh, I believe so. So this is our next stop for today. This is the New York Public Library and we're off to meet someone very special. Here we are! The New York Public Library. What an absolutely stunning building. I'll get out of the way so you can actually see it. Wow. That is really quite something. It's absolutely enormous isn't it? I can't believe it spans like all the way over here. So I wonder how, how many books there actually are inside there. Do you reckon there's like a million? There's at least 12. <laughs> and this is why <laughs> I go to libraries alone. Wow, this feels actually a little bit magical. <laughs> this is very exciting. Very excited right now. I think this is probably one of the things I've been looking forward to the most. What we're looking for is over here. Look at this. This is the original Winnie the Pooh and his friends. We've got Eeyore, Kanga, Piglet, and Tigger. And that is the original Winnie the Pooh. What's <laughs> his t shirt? That's a very good point. When did Pooh suddenly start wearing clothes? Oh, they've got such lovely faces. I don't know if you can hear as well, but they're reading the stories out over the top. This is so special. Wow, I actually feel a little bit emotional looking at these. Well, this place is just full of treasures. This this room is actually called Treasures and they're not lying because this is Charles Dickens' desk. <laughs> and there's a signed copy of Ulysses just around the corner. Likely drafted part of his novel, Hard Times, and may have written chapters of Great Expectations at this desk. <laughs> as well as uh, 15,000 letters. 15,000 letters? Who's he writing to? Someone that's like, oh my god, he's written me another letter. I wish he'd leave me alone. <laughs> We've got some original Tenniel illustrations of Alice in Wonderland. And this one right here is a manuscript draft of The Secret Garden. That is unbelievable. Also, her handwriting is so neat. Apart from the big ink splash at the top, you'd be so annoyed with yourself, wouldn't you? I've obviously made it to the gift shop. Look at this blanket of the Hundred Acre Woods. I love that so much. Oh, this is cute, look at this. This embroidered cushion. 
I love that. That would actually look great in our living room. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, it goes without saying that I literally want every single one of these. <laughs> it's probably time that I left this gift shop. <laughs> Eyeing up these tote bags. Might have to get myself one of these. I love this cream one, but that would definitely get grubby. So I might go for the green. We're actually tempted to get one of these. I love them so much. They're actually not as expensive as I thought they would be either. Kit Kat clocks, a charming piece of American pop culture history. I am definitely gonna have to get a pin. We've got a couple of really cute ones, but this little one of the library itself, look at the pins, they're so good. There's this little one of the library. Little library tickets for the New York Public Library. I think I'm gonna get one of these. And then they've also got the logo. I have a hand placed on my lower back guiding me out of this gift shop right now. <laughs> I love it. Before I spend our entire life savings. It is so nice. This is the most beautiful gift shop I think I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I've done a pretty good job. I bought two things which are very lovely and special. Even the building itself is absolutely beautiful. Wow. If I could come in here to do my work every day, I might actually get a bit more work done. Look at that. Get no work done here. No, that's very true, actually. I would just be like gazing in awe and spinning around all the time. Done any work? No, but I thought <laughs> 10 things in the gift shop. <laughs> I'm getting absolutely sassed to, getting ripped to shreds. <laughs> we got our bags checked on the way out then. And Adam was like, imagine if we tried to sneak actual Winnie the Pooh out in, in Adam's backpack. What's that in your bag? <laughs> Is that poo in your bag? The last <laughs> couple of hours took a turn. We've just been at a brewery. <laughs> the same brewery that we were at last night, Other Half Brewery, has a little branch at the Rockefeller Center. We stumbled upon it. And then, for half an hour of being there, they put on the England-Italy game. <laughs> and who should win but England? What an absolute dream. <laughs> Sat there having a couple of beers in, in New York, and then the, the final whistle went after a dramatic game. And I was expecting the whole place to erupt in support of England, but it was silent. So me, was... <laughs> just give it a couple. Of, we're going this way. <laughs> me giving it a couple of solitary claps. Our feet have recovered. Just about, yeah. It's a, a very needed sit down. We've done like what, twenty-two thousand steps today, or something. A little bit crazy, um, but we've now got something really special. We've booked in a little slot at what was it called? Uh, Summit. Summit. Blocking across the road is <laughs> definitely not advised. Not recommended. Warning. <laughs> it's one of the many different viewing opportunities that there is in Manhattan to go up about 50 million floors and go and check out the skyline. Full of lots of kind of really cool photo opportunities, lots of different ways you can view the skyline. There's like glass floors, all sorts of slightly terrifying things to do. And hopefully we've timed it well to hopefully catch the sunset. That's the plan, we shall see. We are heading, wait for it, wait for it. We're heading up there. It's quite a long way up actually. When you come to Summit, you get only the finest shoe bags. We have absolutely no idea what is going on here. Look at the front camera. Hold still for the countdown. <laughs> Three, two, one. Capture completed. Is that it? You okay. Have to do it. You have oh. to do it as well. I'll be honest with you. Stylish. The yeah. soggy, yeah. soggy yeah. socks and the soggy <laughs> oh, trainers no. in the back. The start to this was very confusing. It 
felt like going on a ride. Too much. It was very dramatic, very intense, slightly scary, honestly, but this is worth it. This is this is the coolest way I've seen New York. Having both done a couple of the different viewing points on previous trips that we've been on separately, also, this is so cool. It's very really like misty and blue outside. It's sort of the music and the mirrors in here. And yeah. the, uh... It's very mystical and very magical. right down there where we were earlier. So what's this one here with the spikes? So I feel like cheating, just sitting in the <laughs> camera on top of That doesn't count as being like, tall. Hey, we're, we're the tallest now. And then just around Where's the corner the here. Where's the edge? Oh yeah! I don't know if you can see right here. That's one of the other viewing platforms that you can do. It's like a little sticky out Dorito that you can go and stand on. We walked past it earlier when we were on the High Line and it looked terrifying. This is... I mean, I'm hoping this is doing it justice. I'm sure it's not at all, but the colours look incredible. The sky is absolutely beautiful. Adam's rushing me through because he spotted the next room, which is kind of like the iconic summit room. <laughs> oh my God. This is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> hope you're ready to see absolute chaos right now. <laughs> What is going on in here? When I've seen people come to this on Instagram, it literally looks so serene and beautiful. <laughs> this is absolute adult ball pit chaos right now. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is so crazy. It doesn't know if this room to be 90 floors in the air. <laughs> serene <laughs> view on the way out now. So now the sun's gone down and everywhere is all lit up and it's pretty magical. I'm just going to tilt this down to show you how high up we are. We've walked into this one and been told that our faces will appear in the next 30 seconds and we have absolutely no idea why. Are they in the clouds? Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck? Well, that's, <laughs> that's me! That's you! <laughs> there he is. You look like Charles. There's me! Is that you? That's definitely me. <laughs> that is so funny. What was that? That was my favourite thing that's happened all day. Honestly, that was my Why highlight was... of New York. <laughs> Why have they put me in heaven? I, I, I just want to go up a building, why have they killed me off? Windswept version. Just the normal. A little outdoor terrace. Just the normal view. This is what you get at the other ones that I've done there. You go onto like an outdoor terrace and then get your view. Too bad, Kate. There it is. Nice. Yay. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, would you like to introduce this one? I, of course I'd love to introduce <laughs> this one. Um, we are, it's Friday at... 8.35 uh, a.m. Um, Coming to you live from New York City. Highly recommend Summit. It was a really fun time, wasn't it? We had such yes. a laugh in there. It was really good. So it's a ticketed thing which you could buy in advance. It's not included in the kind of like city passes and stuff. Oh, okay. You can get, um, there's a few different versions of it that's kind of like a city pass where you can pay a couple of hundred dollars and it includes lots of the really big attractions in New York City. So if you're coming for the first time and you've never done any of those, it's really worth looking into those. I wanted to mention them because they are really good value if you've never done any of them. But between us, we've done quite a lot of those big tourist attractions before, so it didn't really work out as great value for us. Summit's not included in those anyway, so I just wanted to make a note of that. It's kind of like a separate thing. 
um i would say it's worth the money we had a really good time get some amazing views yes amazing views definitely definitely wear trousers yes definitely wear trousers we decided to go up at sunset so that's another thing i wanted to know it's a really good idea if you're going up to one of those viewing points there's so many different ones that you can do the empire state top of the rock the edge all of those um really cool to go up at sunset if you do a little google beforehand do also charge an extra bit of cash that to go up at sunset also worth noting it's a bit more expensive to go up at sunset because they know what they're doing and it is also obviously like rush hour we overheard one of the like people working there saying didn't we they call it like sunset rush they probably get like three times as many people up at, in that time slot as they do for any other hour of the day so i would say consider what your priority is whether you'd like to be up there for that kind of extra magical moment and put up with there being three times as many people <laughs> up there with you i don't think it particularly detracted from no you're usually in like a like a one person deep queue yeah per like big window you have to wait a moment people are having their photo shoots and people are having their yeah their their view yeah and so you sort of wait in. to have that moment where you go up and like press your nose against the glass and like that's your window you might have to wait a little while but i just wanted to like give you a little a mini review of it because obviously the tickets aren't like super cheap so um there's a bar at the top but there is you... a little bar at the top and today is day three baby three. unless planned yes. day <laughs> So yesterday was our like big heavy hitter day. We wanted to do a lot of the big touristy bits yesterday while we were over in that part of town. Today's a lot more chill. On our spreadsheet, yesterday was blocked out very efficiently. Today is blocked out into three sections. Number one, we're going to Katz's Deli this morning, which is literally top of my list yeah. of things that I really want to do on this trip. We're going to head there quite early this morning. We're going to do it as a bit of a we have a late breakfast brunch yeah. early lunch type scenario um if you don't know about it it's this very like classic iconic deli features in when harry met sally one of my favorite movies and the sandwiches are meant to be out of this world unbelievable mm. there's plates of pickles involved it's gonna be a great time and the rest is very kind of easy breezy <laughs> it just says like shops <laughs> sure mark. vaguely kind of heading over to west village and east village and Soho and that kind of area today and we're just gonna see what we can find a little bit of a mooch we're just gonna mooch Manhattan a little mooch around the coffee shops yeah. some bakeries I've got my eye on one of those cookies today I think oh one of the big cookies yeah I saw that the deli next to Cat's Day something called a, I think it's a black and white cookie it's just like half black and half white yum and Jerry Seinfeld eats one. Oh, okay uh, here we go sandwiches and cookies today very simple outfit today though I've gone for my big denim jacket I've got this nice black midi dress on, and then I've gone for trainers today. Here he is, Ootnid. The green machine. Green machine, nice check jacket. All right, let's go find a giant sandwich. Yeah, a big sandwich. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. We have a little coffee to go from the cutest spot called Bakery. Very much or Gilmore nine. Girls vibes. Bakery with an eye, so possibly bakery. We think bakery still. There it is. The famous Kansas delicatessen. Hey, we made it. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, look at the cute merch. Oh, this is so cool. This does actually feel like a movie set. Oh, are they all the famous people that have been? Have to see who we can spot. Yeah, to find a favorite. <laughs> There's the helmet, Sally. Oh. so good. Mm, thank you. <gasps> look at those pickles. Yes, <laughs> it turns out we just picked the best table. Because look at this. Two cats is deli. And then I don't know if you'll be able to make this out, but it's signed by Meg Ryan. So we recommend that you share when you come here because this is one serving. This is their classic, iconic pastrami on rye. What a breakfast this is. You get a little ticket. They fill in your order here. And then you pay. Do we pay on the way out? hand over your ticket and then you pay on the way out. This is what I want for almost every day. Yeah, I know. It feels like this is your pretty much your dream breakfast so, plate right here. Society says you can't have <laughs> this for breakfast. I just say We hey, say otherwise. <laughs> Adam just asked me how I'm going to eat this. And the only answer is not delicately. I'm going to give it a try though. Delicately. Delicately. Very good. 
Happy breakfast. Happy <laughs> breakfast. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. The is the mm. Cheers. <laughs> We've spotted Robin Williams. We've spotted Christopher Maltesanti. <laughs> Can't believe we haven't even said it yet. <laughs> I'm not saying it, you can say it. I'll have what she's having. <laughs> These are just absolute goals, aren't they? Oh my goodness me. You know what? I could live here. I think maybe we should move here. Wow, these are absolutely stunning. Well, we've accidentally ended up walking 50,000 miles once again. We walked through Chinatown. From last, last time I updated, I think we walked through Chinatown. Little Italy, NoHo area, all the way down Bleecker Street. And look where we've ended up. If you recognize what this is without already knowing what this is, I would be really impressed. Does that look familiar? This little corner here? That's the Friends building. Very cool. Do you think they're in? Uh, well, <laughs> they moved out quite a while ago. It's 12.44 so. on a Friday, so yeah, they're yeah. <laughs> Friends was accurate. I guess this would be where Central Park was. Didn't they live above Central Park? I don't know if they live above there. I think they did. It's not in shot, is it? Yeah, but I don't know. I think they're supposed to live above it. Funny though, because we were just saying like, if we walked past it not knowing, we would never have recognised it, but because you know what it is, yeah. it does look really familiar. That's really cute. I yeah, love it. What I a fun do. little spot. Look at this little autumn porch staircase. So dang cute. If I had that nice rust coloured door, that's exactly what I would do too. <laughs> ones aren't they? I really think London needs to start adding these like pretty outside fire escapes to its buildings. They're such a vibe. This is the worst version of the Sex and the City theme tune ever but there's Carrie Bradshaw's apartment <laughs> or Barry Crankshaw as Adam's just called her. <laughs> I just think this should be a spin-off with her like estranged brother. Barry Crankshaw. Barry Crankshaw. <laughs> <laughs> if there wasn't so many people around, I would prance around like she does, but I'm too embarrassed. So beautiful around here. I think when we inevitably move to New York, <laughs> as we've decided in the last 48 hours that we should do. Yeah, there is. Such a oh, okay. Should we go and check that out? Um, so I keep interrupting your vlog. This is this is the spot we should move to. We oh. might need like 10 oh, okay. million dollars or so, but this this is the place. This is absolutely beautiful. I just think I suit it. <laughs> I just think it suits me. I just think waking up. I just think this millionaire's row really suits us. Heading out for a nice breaking and having a lunchtime beer. Is this just a life I could do? Exactly. We can talk through my. If you'd like to. My victory. <laughs> my 2 1 victory in Banana Rama. Banana Not Grams. Banana Grams. Banana Rama is something very different. It's a long time since I last picked up the camera. We had a lovely walk through Greenwich Village. I think that's the most beautiful place we've seen so far. Absolutely gorgeous. And we're back over the Williamsburg side now, obviously. And we've come by Brooklyn Brewery. You might recognise. There it is. We get these beers at home, obviously, but this is uh, this is where it all began. Straight from the barrel. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. Really nice atmosphere. Super chilled. 
um, and I think we're having probably the wildest Friday night this side of town because we've been playing banana grams. We've got a nice little pasta spot on our maps which we think we might go and check out for dinner tonight and we're having a lovely time. This might not be the Friday night in New York that we were expecting. <laughs> no, this is, this is what I wanted. Yes, this is exactly what we were looking for, actually. Although Adam's just beaten me for three out of four. Three won in the series. Bananagrams, not my game. Although I would argue my words are better. <laughs> but unfortunately, that doesn't matter. Having said that, <laughs> so this is where we've picked out for dinner tonight. This is former Pasta Factory, which turns out to be the busiest place that we could possibly have chosen, but got ourselves a little outdoor table here. And here's what we've got to start. We've got some little arancini balls, which look absolutely delicious. We've got this bread, which might be the most delicious bread I've ever tasted in my life. And uh, we've got a nice little setup going on here. It's very cute. Love it. And I'm like, it was a little bit chaotic when we first arrived. We weren't really sure what the deal was. Wow, these are so good. Can you give me a little rundown of what this is? I actually can't remember. Some kind of delicious sausage ragu. It said herby sausage, creamy, cheesy. Mm. Wow, that looks plate, absolutely plate wonderful. Food. This food is so good. Worth a little bit of a wave. Taste test. I look like I'm not wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that noise means it's You won't like it. Well, that's unreal. Wow. Let's try this one. And I went for classic bolognese with pappardelle. So good. They are both unreal. Wow. What a great spot. It's so funny how these clips at the end of the day, I just look disheveled at the end of every single <laughs> one. It's been a long day. Well, we just made it back to the hotel room. Very full of pasta. Cannot recommend that restaurant enough. Wow, that was some of the best pasta I've ever had. Pasta was great. You just need to get the table. Yeah, I don't think I, I mentioned how it worked. I think basically between six and eight-ish. Super busy, very popular spot. But basically, if you spot a table, sprint for it, get your table first, and then you go up and it's kind of like counter service and then they bring your food out to you. So you gotta secure that table, sprint over to it. It actually wasn't that chilly. It was quite nice sitting out there. It was nice and fresh, really nice atmosphere, like buzzing everywhere. Loved it, food was incredible. It was and it was pretty affordable as well. I think the dishes were pretty reasonable for around here. So that's a, a huge recommend from us, former pasta factory. I think there's another one over in Manhattan somewhere. And that's it for today. What a day. We've been all over the place yet uh, again. Started over in Cat's Deli, which feels like oh my God. <laughs> a very long time ago. Went all around East Village. We went all around West Village. Yeah. We walked a long, long way. Um, cookies, coffees. Cookies, I forgot about the cookies. They were also a huge recommend. That was Le Van Bakery. I didn't film in there because the music was absolutely pumping. Um, but they were so delicious. Good little sugary pick-me-up. Brooklyn Brewery, which is just around the corner from where we're staying. That was really cool. Really enjoyed ourselves, played many a banana gram. Banana grams, champion. Yeah. Um, okay, I think that means it's probably time for us to go. Uh, I think this will be the end of the first vlog. Three days feels like a lot for me to ram into one vlog. I'm gonna try my best. Tomorrow, we're up bright and early. We're heading out to the Statue of Liberty tomorrow. Ellis Island. And Ellis Island, yeah. And uh, who knows what else. Tune in for part two, and we will see you then. Thanks for watching. Mate. I was hoping you could see the skyline, but it's literally just the bed reflecting the, the, the back of our heads. Why don't you do this? Why don't you go, see you next time, and then zoom in to da, 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 da. <laughs> That's good. Move over Spielberg. Hey, that's a good one. <laughs>